Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have yet another Camaro walk around. This time it's the unique LT1 trim level, which came out just a few model years ago. So let's not waste any time. Take a look at this Camaro convertible behind me. So before we get into the walk around portion of this video, I first want to show you the exact options and features that this Camaro is optioned with, because there is a lot of accessories that go along with the Camaros and Corvettes and all these sports cars to make it personalized. But take a look at the window sticker for this exact Camaro. It is the 2023 LT1 convertible. Once again, finished in the Riverside Blue with the jet black interior. And this one is the six speed manual, so save the manuals. I'm not gonna go over all the standard features of the LT1 trim level. However, I will go over the optional equipment. Now, first up, you see the carbon flash metallic ground effects. That is not installed on the car. So keep that in mind while watching this video that that has not yet arrived and been installed on the car. Maybe I'll be able to insert some video after it does get installed in the next day or two, granted it arrives, but keep that in mind while watching this video. This one has the Recaro Performance front seats, the RS package, the polished 20 inch forged wheels, performance dual mode exhaust, the technology package, along with the pearl white stripes, red brake calipers, red knee pads, red seat belts, battery protection package, which is just an accessory, along with the Camaro logo wheel center cap for a total MSRP of $53,775. So I apologize, but the rest of this video is going to be done on my phone as the battery has died in my camera. But once again, this is the Riverside Blue Metallic. Now that the sun has set in, you can't really see the metallic too much, but it is a nice deep blue color. And if you're interested to see what it looks like on the ZL1 1LE, there it is. Wish that was the car we're talking about today, but that is not the case. This is still a very cool car nonetheless. Once again, this has the pearl white stripes with the hood scoop that all V8 Camaros have, just like the SS's. Here at the front end, you'll see that this one does have the RS package. So you get the RS badge in the grill. LED projector headlights with LED daytime running lights and turn signals, black bow tie, silver accents lower on the bumper, and you could, can see some aero treatments on the sides. Once again, great looking car, both of these two. This one is optioned with the 20 inch polished forge wheels with the all season Goodyear tires. They're 245, 40, 20s. And you'll see the red Brembo calipers up front, but once we get to the back, you'll see the Brembo calipers are missing. And that's just because this is a cheaper alternative to some of the SS trim levels, uh, basically the entry V8 level. LT1 badge signifying the trim level as well as the engine under the hood on the front fenders. There's a sh side shot of the Camaro convertible. Looks great again with these wheels and the drop top. Proximity entry on both front door handles. The mirrors are going to be heated. No blind spot detection or anything like that. Coming to the back, you'll see you're missing the Brembo calipers like I mentioned. So these are just the base level, uh, entry level Camaro rear calipers with disc brakes. Once again, this is the RS package. You have an RS badge on the rear bumper, which gives you the dark clear tail lights. They are LED. Again, huge upgrade on the Camaro in my opinion. Do you have the same spoiler as some of the base SS trims? Black bow tie, quad tip, dual mode exhaust, that is an option. Normally this would have two single tip exhausts, I do believe. Rear backup camera. But yeah, overall this is a sharp looking car, especially with these polished wheels, white stripes, red theme going on in the interior, going on to the exterior. And it will look a lot different without those ground effects. So keep that in mind while watching this video. And if I do get a clip, I will insert it with the ground effects, assuming they uh, show up here in the next day or two. Stepping onto the interior, you'll find a bunch of red accents, again, that this car is optioned with. The door panel is going to be fairly hard touch, just because the LT1, again, doesn't have all the premium accents that some of the other trims do. Padded armrest, though. Red knee pad, again, optioned on this car with the Bose premium audio system as part of that technology package. I would highly recommend everybody who gets this trim to option that $900 technology package. I think it's well worth it. Power front seats, you will get a power front seat on both sides, no power lumbar. And these are the optional Recaro seats with suede inserts. There's your red seat belts. There's a better look at the dash and everything. 
So you find the same leather wrap steering wheel with flat bottom as some of the other trims, but no SS because obviously it's not an SS, but it still has the 6.2 liter V8. Cruise control. Here's some of your infotainment controls for the volume. Menu controls for the gauge cluster. And normally these would be paddle shifters with the 10 speed automatic. However, because this one is the six speed manual, you get the rev match feature, automatic headlights, regular wipers, and there's your more analog gauge cluster with the 4.2 inch color display in the middle. Has pretty basic options, not much you can display on there, but all the necessary info, including tire pressure, voltage, coolant temps, all that kind of stuff is displayed in that menu. Coming over to the infotainment system, this is the eight inch HD color display as part of that technology package. Once again, highly recommend optioning it. You have some physical controls just below that. It does have a Wi-Fi hotspot. I believe this is wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay as well. Sirius XM capable, but once again, a good value to me to get the infotainment system along with the upgraded audio system. Single zone automatic climate control at the front of the LT1. No heated seats or anything like that. You do get the cool aircraft style vents. I think that's a neat feature of all Camaros. Six speed manual transmission with leather wrap shift knob. Drive mode selection, which is paired to that dual mode exhaust. So in this car, you get the snow and ice, tour and sport. Definitely hear the exhaust valve changing with those modes. 12 volt outlet, traction control, two cup holders. Because this one is a drop top, you have the power top controls from the proximity remote. So that is a neat feature for sure. Padded armrest here with white stitching. Inside the armrest, you'll find two USB ports and auxiliary port down there. You get the manual dimming rear view mirror, but it is still the borderless design, so I think it looks nice. LED interior lighting, power top controls, OnStar, airbag sensor uh, status light. Pretty basic stuff up top. Not too many frills here in the LT1 trim. Do get some nice leather stitching here on the dash. Glove box is fairly small. I don't see any lighting in there either. Take a look at the back seat. You'll notice that the suede inserts for the seats do not continue to the back. So you do have it suede up front with the headrest right here, but it is all leather in the back seat. Same gray accents. Normally your wireless charging pad would be found right here in the upper trims, but not in this one speakers in the back and that's about it red seat belts now taking a look at the trunk trunk space is going to be very small in all camaros but especially with the top down you're going to lose quite a bit so everything behind this is not usable you can see the top is stowed in there right now still nice to have in a pinch for sure for a couple bags two people it should be enough space for that uh, but if you need anything large to fit in there well you're just going to have to take a different vehicle but again, this is a sports car that's to be expected. So wrapping it up here in the passenger front seat, show you guys the power seat you get on the passenger side. Again, again the same as the driver's side. Go ahead and pop the hood really quick. Show you guys the LT1 V8 underneath the hood and we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. So under the hood of this trim level, along with the SS's as well, you'll find the same LT1 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8. Puts out 455 horsepower, 455 pound-feet of torque through the rear wheels, of course. This one, of course, has the six-speed manual transmission, but there is a 10-speed automatic as well. Both transmissions, I think, are very good options. The 10 speed is definitely a huge upgrade over the former eight speed that was available in the Camaro here in the sixth generation. I think a lot of people would agree with that statement. You do get the cross brace. I believe that is standard equipment with all V8 Camaros, at least the convertibles with the V8. I'm not sure if that's standard on the coupes with the V8, but definitely a nice powerful engine and a relatively lightweight vehicle, especially in the LT1 trim. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video on the 2023 LT1 convertible Camaro. I think overall, this is a pretty good value for the money. Again, it is the entry level V8, so you get a lot of the plain Jane or cheaper interior, but this one has a lot of the nice upgrades that I think a lot of people would option. But you do have to be careful with all these upgrades as you do get the push the price point 
of a 1SS and 2SS once you option a lot of these uh, options, including the $2,000 ground effects package. So I think it's just personal preference at that point, whether you want to option up an LT1 like this one or get a base 1SS or 2SS. Um, obviously, you get more expensive with the more options. So once you get into the mid $50,000 range, you're pushing the 2SS price point which then you get a lot more creature comforts on the interior. So once again, I think it's personal preference, but once this car has the ground effects installed, I think it'll look pretty sharp for sure. So if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit that like button. It greatly helps out these videos in the channel. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you guys are notified of every new video that's posted. Typically Monday through Saturday, I post about 10 a.m. Central time. So keep an eye out here on the channel for every new video around 10 a.m. Central. Uh, but let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the LT1 trim. Do you think it's a good value? Do you think it's a little bit overpriced? Uh, would you rather have a 1SS or 2SS? Let me know why down in the comment section below. And if you happen to own this trim level of Camaro, let me know how your ownership experience has been. I think we're on the last few years of the 6th gen Camaro as the rumor mill has been going over time. Uh, that 2023, maybe 2024 might be the last model year. And we'll have to see here how many uh, Camaros are actually produced here in the last couple of mod years because I can't imagine Chevy selling a ton of them brand new. Uh, but I think there's a lot of people out there that still want one. So let me know your thoughts on that down in the comment section below. And once again, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And as always, hope to see you guys in the next one.